Welcome to the CFG Gamecast episode number 12, a weekly podcast created by gamers and streamers alike to discuss the latest gaming topics from the previous week. We stream a new episode on Saturdays and release it on podcast services like Apple and Google Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, and Podbean. So show us some love. Give us a follow on our Twitch channels with Smitty at Smitty2447, Sesh as Review Sesh, and me, Mr. CFG himself, CFG Games. I am Davis Green. And uh, with me are a group of fellow gamers. I got Sesh on the second seat, a.k.a. the Backlog Queen. What's going on? I'm so busy all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Being an adult is always the fun. It's always fun, isn't it? <laughs> with responsibilities. Uh, adulting plus uh, lots and lots of hobbies. <laughs> Oh gosh! You know the way you said adulting it didn't sound right. But anyway, but uh, the other. So uh, what? Uh, so what have you been up to? Uh, I know you started a new job, and uh, how you liking it? Yep, started a new job. I'm really loving it a lot, which is awesome. I gotta just organize and sort and calendars and food, and it, it's good. I'm liking it a lot. I, I'm hoping that it's gonna be a long term thing. Um, but. Every minute that I'm off, I've been busy doing something. I'm doing, like, a YouTube thing. Mm -hmm. I'm prepping for a crowdfunding video shoot. And then this, another podcast. And I'm trying to stream again starting this week, which is basically after a month of not being able to stream, which oh. sucks. But hopefully, I'm well. Oh, also, I'm moving. So once I move, <laughs> things are all settled and all good. So I've been back and forth between this place with all my stuff, a friend's place, and then this other place. So now it's like settling down a little bit because I have a room. Unfortunately, I don't want my cats there. But I'm going to be moving out of that soon and getting a real place. And then some kind of strange routine is going to happen where I think I'm I'm going to be a little bit more free well, it's gonna be weird I, just, I don't know what to make of that we will cross our fingers on that and when the, and we'll, we'll 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 hold our we'll hold uh hold each other's hands together and follow you that way so we'll go with that <laughs> i think at that time i finally will have the time to cry yes <laughs> right but then then it's evo get ready for evo for smash who knows but anyways yes, that perfect. is <laughs> Then I got the, in the third seat. I have the uh, five star general of the itty bitty Smitty committee. I got Smitty. How are you doing, sir? Doing well, my friend. It's been a busy week. E3. Uh, got to check out a lot of the videos, a lot of the conferences. I'm super excited to uh, uh, sit down and talk with you guys about it. I know you were on the ground floor, <laughs> uh, so you know I, I can only imagine what you uh, got to experience out there and whatnot. But it's been a good week. Uh, got family in town. Uh, the house is full. It's Father's Day uh, weekend as well. So happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Oh yeah. Um, and yeah, you know, just just I'm 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 trying to make it a a sweat pants weekend uh, is my goal. So <laughs> sweat pants. we're doing well though. Uh, is 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 the dream becoming a reality with that? <laughs> oh, I hope. You know, I'm currently in my sweatpants, so I'm doing all right right now. Sweet doing deal. All right. Awesome, awesome. All right, and as always, like what Smitty also said, yes, I we uh, I have been insanely busy. I had a ridiculous adventure at E3 this year, uh, and uh, we and it was awesome. I mean, uh, just say it, long story short, it was awesome. So definitely, uh, definitely, uh, uh, we're, we're going to talk all about this. Normally, we have the format of each of us will show a topic of. Uh, a topic we we bring a topic to the table to discuss but this time since it's e3 there's no way we could just talk about e3 for 20 minutes so we are going to do we're going to dedicate this episode a full hour of e3 and e3 hype and what everyone exp experienced on it and maybe if i have some time i'll show you tell some some uh some awesome stories from it so like uh <laughs> so like uh so basically like like we said e3 happened uh started i guess would you consider e3 officially started on saturday with uh with ea play i, I feel like that's like the soft launch yeah 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 so Definitely. yeah so ea play happened um as you know so like uh technically it's not the convention it's they they made an event for them uh for for electronic arts and uh they were showing some new uh some of their new upcoming games this year they're 
let's just let's just face it just no, nothing that we were really su- super surprised about there was nothing that was actually like you know that really gone off i guess the biggest thing that came uh came out of it was actual gameplay of uh the new star wars game that came out um uh and uh like i mean dude if it's star wars yeah I mean, you already sold me on it unfortunately because it's like after with the uh with the with the crappy like what what ea has done with that ip is been probably as close enough to be known to be a, a crime <laughs> in itself. Uh, this <laughs> this one uh, this one doesn't look. At, I mean, I don't know. I feel a little bit out of place for this one because this one seems kind of weird. Like the main dude, uh, the main dude that they choose to uh, the, uh, the fallen Jedi. He, I think he was the dude that played the Joker in Gotham. And, uh, and yeah, so, uh, so it seems kind of, but like the, the mocap, it just seems kind of out of place in the, in the scenario, but I do like how the game looks. It reminds me of Jedi Academy. So like, uh, so hopefully this game is going to be pretty, pretty tight, uh, uh, pretty, uh, pretty tight. I mean, did you, did you, uh, so that was a big thing I got out of the EA play, uh, EA plays thing. Uh, what did y'all, uh, what did y'all think? Was there anything out there that, that, that may, that, that stood out for y'all? I, I was going to say Star Wars, too. Like, the gameplay actually looks really fun. I was interested in it. It reminded me of some other Star Wars games I know I still need to play, and I'm wondering, like, if I should play others before I play this one. Or, I, I'm i interested. I, they they have some of my interests. Not all of it, though. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, well, if, you're gonna, if you haven't played any of, like, Star Wars games, the ones you want to play is uh, Star Wars Unleashed. Uh, that one was the first one, not the second one. Uh, mm-hmm. but yeah, that one is probably one of my favorite, one of my favorite Star Wars games besides Knights of the Old Republic. Man, I need to yeah. do something about that. But yeah, the, uh, uh, yeah, uh, with Knights of the Old Republic, but, uh, 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 yeah, shoot, there's actually a lot of good Star Wars games when I think about it. Yeah. yeah like, there are, like, they're not, you know, like, guaranteed to be, like, a bad game. Like, a lot of them are just, they're fun. Mm. Like, they're not that bad. Well, I was, yeah. It's just a matter of, like, me being able to, like, just play and want to play the whole thing rather than, like, sit down for half an hour and play and be like, well, that was cool. No, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it was, uh, yeah, hopefully it's not going to be, like, that kind of, that kind of experience. If it was that kind of experience, I'd be like, screw this. I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to deal with it, uh, deal with that. I I ain't going to buy that. Yeah. I don't think it can't be, though. It's the world of Star Wars. I I love the world of Star Wars. I'll do any story in the world of Star Wars. I do. It's going to be no automatically for me. Well, come on, man. You can't, you can't tell me that you were disappointed with Battlefront. Uh, well, uh, here, here's the thing. So that wasn't really a that wasn't a story, though. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Literally, let's take the world of Star Wars and and create this monster uh, multiplayer game. Uh, it was not what I thought it was going to be. And and maybe you know I know and I know people are getting hyped back up on uh, um, Battlefront Two. You know they've they've made a lot of changes. People are feeling it again. I've been seeing more people uh, playing it and whatnot. But for me to be able to have, I really wanted a Star Wars story. You know what I mean? Something that I could just sit down. I'm in this world. You know what I mean? Maybe I see some of the familiar characters. You know, but I'm also on this other this whole other story and and whatnot. Um, but I mean, the gameplay for me is, yeah, I, I thought it looked cool. It was good enough for me. It's got my interest. They can take my money. Uh, I will play that game. I will play it through and through just to do it. And then, you know, because it is, you know, but here's the thing, though. I, I feel like, too, we, we haven't really gotten all the details as far as what the plan is, you know, with the game. So I don't know if there's going to be some some surprise gotchas or, you know, it's EA. You know, don't don't I don't I don't put anything past them. Um, but so far from from what I've seen, uh, you know, I was like, yeah, I, I can get on board with that game. Yeah. Okay. See, that's fair, and and uh, and I will I will also agree. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be a gotcha moment, but I don't I don't think it's going to be as bad as Battlefront because, like you said, you're definitely right. It's more. It's not really more. It's this one's more story driven than anything they they have made ever really ever since they got the rights to it. So I think that they're. they're I mean, I won't be surprised if there's microtransactions, but there can't be if it's like the microtransactions that they did with Lord of the Rings, the second Shadows of Mordor. Then then that would be a problem, which I don't think. I think they learned their lesson so i am giving them benefits of the doubt that they learned a lesson on that <laughs> so so okay. we'll we'll Hopefully. definitely yeah we'll definitely see did you hear anything about anthem news uh uh at the uh e3 though smitty 
Here's the thing, man. There was something about Anthem news, but I have no idea what it was. Okay, I'm gonna, yeah, because I heard something too. But like, I'm like, what's so special about? It? You know, hold on, let me see. Let's let's find that out because like that's right? that's one of the big things I, I was still thinking. Haven't, I still haven't uh, I haven't installed the PTS yet. I want to because I want to try out the Cataclysm, get a first hand look at what it looks like, what it feels like. I want to be able to give some feedback uh, on it. You know whether they take that or take you know they're actually you know whatever i don't know i don't know i i just i know from what i've seen it seems very lackluster and i can't imagine what they would have i mean not, not only that but it, it, it it's a limited time event so this thing that they built up as is going to change the world the world's going to evolve and it's going to be crazy <laughs> and you, raw, you know immersive and <laughs> Teraflops and teraflops. You know what I mean? like, and, <laughs> and we don't get that. We don't get our teraflops. We, you know, so I, I want to get in and see that. But I have no idea. I think that's the news. Maybe I'm not sure. Uh, I just saw something here on the line that says EA won't be showing Anthem anything related at Anthem at E3 during EA play. So they're probably they're kind of bur- it sounds like they might be burying it a little bit. Uh, because, and uh, one of the developers say that they. Now? No, no, no new announcements. It, they said that the uh, one of the developers said that they have a lot of work to do with Anthem. So that that's all I see right now. <laughs> so they um, the roadmap, if that tells you anything. Yeah, well, they have to veer off of that roadmap because they don't, that roadmap is busted. You know, I mean, there's nothing that they can do about that. They have to fix their games. I mean. That, that's where it comes down to. Okay, we've talked way too much about EA already. <laughs> the more we've already have. I'm sorry, were you going to say something, Sesh? Uh, I was going to say, are we ready to move on to Nintendo? Yeah. Oh, no. Nintendo is... Not yet? Not yet? No. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Nintendo's going to okay. be tight. We already know Nintendo's going to be tight. So we got to go with all the other stuff. We could probably talk forever for Nintendo. But like I will say... Uh, but the next thing was uh, the Microsoft uh, the Microsoft press conference was the next one that happened uh, the next day, and I mean come on dude like I mean they had like I think they had the best moment with Keanu Reeves in in that one I would say uh, with like oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I am <laughs> so excited for that one that was like the first thing I wrote in this list because I'm like okay I'm gonna start writing my E3 what do I want to talk about and I'm like cyberpunk I want to talk about this I want to talk about actors being in these things because <laughs> you know then there was also like um. Uh, you, you guys know him from The Punisher and Walking Dead with that, that dog. Like, there's just all these actors in the Mac came out later on, too. So I, I was curious, like, what you guys think about all these, like, kind of getting to be bigger and bigger name actors. Like, Keanu Reeves is pretty big. You know what's funny? Uh, going well, I... in all these these uh, video games, and it's literally just their faces rather than, like, it being mapped to something where they're just acting it out and providing the voice. But like it's their look, it's them, their likeness. Too. You know what though? It's like this is what I've like how how with the Keanu Reeves pop. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think that was that's like that was really awesome to see him there. But like, uh, but with the Keanu Reeves, he's not the first person to ever do that. Like that's that's the funniest thing. Right. Like like I mean like I think I think the Keanu Reeves pop is the largest pop that I have ever seen an actor uh, an actor in a video game. Because, like, uh, when you think about it, like, look, I mean, look, look at Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey, most recent ones, there's Kevin Spacey, Kit Harrington. They were both Call of Duty. You had Bruce Willis with his, apo- with his crappy apocalypse game. You also had, like, uh, even, like, uh, uh, I mean, you had a lot of well, different kinds of Norman actors. Reedus coming out with yeah. uh, Death Stranding. And like, Matt, that, I mean, that was a huge pop for me. Like, even when it was, like, back and it was, like, PT, I was like, what are these names? <laughs> oh, my God. Ah. Yeah. Like, so I'm, I'm just scared. Like, there's so so many actors that are getting involved with it. Like, I love it. Like, I'm really excited about Even it. Death I Stranding had, like, really a lot of big names, of though. Names. Like, Death Stranding's yeah. had, like, uh, what's his name? Uh, they had three people. I mean, they have, uh, yeah, have Guillermo del Toro. Like, was, yeah. But, like, yeah. still, like, like if you see those three people go on stage compared to what we saw with Keanu Reeves, it's still not going to compare. It still wouldn't, right, yeah, it yeah, still yeah. wouldn't compare. Keanu Reeves has, so much love right now it's perfect i'm love i'm so happy that he's has this like because like he didn't necessarily like bounce back i'd say after the matrix like he was great in like that but like it wasn't like that didn't relaunch his career a whole lot it was like the matrix movies what else was he in around then uh, i really he was in a scanner darkly yeah um... <laughs> yeah scanner darkly that was but actually a everyone good movie. loves john wick everyone is way into john <laughs> right. wick like they're they're just he's and he has this result now because i think it's the john wick, wick that really brings it out where it's like now everything that he's always been iconic for is just also absurdly 
popular where they could see him in different things. And I think on that, top uh, of that, honestly, I am so excited for Cyberpunk. Like, it reminds me of uh, the sequel to Blade Runner, but, like, even, like, dirtier and grittier, or, like, more neon. Mm. And so, I mean, I'm a sci-fi goon, so I'm really into it, of course. And then he's in it. It looks like the cinematics are great. I, I know we'll see about the gameplay and all of that. But, like, I'm just like, oh, cool. This is a sick story and great, like, setting. I'm in. Like, that's that's me for that game already. So I'm like, oh, sick. He's in it. Hell yeah. I think that uh, Keanu Reeves himself, though, I think what also kind of got him over besides the, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, he did, you're right. He hasn't done a lot of movies besides, like, John Wick, between the space between John Wick and, and uh, The Matrix. But I think also is that you heard massive amounts of stories of, like, his acts of kindness, like how, how humble exactly. he was and stuff like that that yep. really made, exactly. that made that really held people over. Like, wow, Keanu Reeves is an awesome guy. And he has, a like, a, a terrible backstory, like a, like a horrible <laughs> thing that happened to him, that, that, that's happened to him in his life. And it's like, you would never think that he would be that person to be paying it forward to other people like that and and he's like an, and he is technically an a-list celebrity even though he may not do as many movies as other people but like i think that him is just i think him genuinely being a good person is what really is what really makes people like him even more uh, and, then that, and then that's what I, it is i definitely agree and i i think it's really great i love that there's like he's having this like new revival like it never really like stuck before but now i feel like he's like busy he's doing all these things in quick succession like it's the matrix made a lot of money but it wasn't like that it was just him selling it john wick is him like that's him mm. selling it you know um it was crazy so to I, see like his his uh his shooting when he started practicing on that but that's still we kind of digressing but so yeah. overall like anyways like but uh yeah so the whole thing like i mean uh, Microsoft press conference was pretty cool. They had some announcements. The thing, you know, what's funny to me that made me more hyped about Microsoft. Oh, I'm sorry. What were you saying, Smitty? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was just. I thought there was. A, I, you know, I was actually kind of sorry. Sorry, you were gonna say something. Oh, Once you okay. finish your thought, okay. and and then uh, and then I'll come in. Okay. Well, yeah. Sorry. The uh, so I thought that like uh, the thing that made Microsoft actually pretty cool. Uh, I mean, Microsoft had no all right conference. I wouldn't say it was bad. I mean, there wasn't really much, most, much a lot that they were they were pushing. But I think the the the, the fact that they were pushing on their technology and as well as their hardware, the uh, what their plans were is what was is what made it. I think what is what made Microsoft kind of stand out a little bit more than what they normally was. Because like the games game wise, it was okay. I mean, there was there wasn't anything. I think the big one of the big news was that Double Fine is now part of uh is now part of Microsoft now. Um, but like the pro Project Cloud is a uh, is a cool idea that they're going to be doing. It's basically making your Xbox your your own personal server and be able to play it anywhere, as well as uh, uh even their expansion of uh uh xbox uh, uh, Arca uh xbox uh, xbox game pass so like uh, uh what they what they're doing to uh, to do it so basically they're they're basically wanting to have allow you to be doing gaming anywhere any uh, in any any anyhow and stuff so uh and uh i guess gears 5 uh, is their big i guess is their biggest game that, that is solely in house through through yeah. through microsoft themselves so um i mean so the conference was fine uh it was uh it wasn't it wasn't like uh it wasn't like oh my god i can't believe this is the, uh they got this it's coming out and uh, uh oh oh i guess the big one too pso2 uh fancy star online 2 for most people uh was yeah, a big one too that, that'd but, be big for a lot of people yeah yeah but like i mean it wasn't like uh it wasn't jaw dropping it wasn't i mean it's it, it, it's what was needed for them to do uh to be relevant i will say uh so so i mean what were, uh yeah so what were you saying smitty yeah no, I totally agree. Just getting back on the, we also have to remember too with the just. I just want to touch on the Keanu Reeves thing real quick. Is that he's also the Fortnite guy, so oh John Wick, yeah, kids mm. know who he is, regardless if they've seen his movies. You know what I mean? Strictly from Fortnite, so that was huge. That's gonna. I mean, obviously that game. I don't think I wouldn't say that Cyberpunk is geared towards little kids, but mm. you know, it. I mean, it. It is so much in people's faces. Like I had heard people talking about that game, but I had never seen anything about it until I watched that E3 that that whole conference, and I was just like, oh, you know, what <laughs> I mean, and like literally, my mind was blown. I was just like, this is like, what is going on? This is amazing. I need to have this. Like, <laughs> oh I need my to god, have it yesterday. You know, um, so that was huge. Also, um, you know, I, I think and there were a couple of things I just wanted to mention. Um, the uh, the flight simulator. I'm not a flight simulator guy, but mm. gosh, damn, that game looked gorgeous. That I was like, look gorgeous. Holy shit, man. That, <laughs> nuts. that Dude, was nuts. 
Do you know what's funny? It's like, you, you remember like how, what, like what you remembered what Flight Simulator used to look like back in like 95, <laughs> you know? <laughs> with like Cessnas and with the Cessnas and stuff. And then you just, oh, then, then they're like, hey, we're going to bring Flight Simulator back. And then it just looks beautiful. The game looks beautiful. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but, but Flight Simulator, but I've always, like, I always wanted to play Flight Simulator, but I'm like the dude that's like, it looks nice, it's perfect eye candy, but I know I will crash that plane every single time. I uh, every single time I'm in that cockpit. So, you know, you're totally right though. <laughs> no, it's not a game I would personally purchase. I just wanted to mention. I was like, wow, that looks gorgeous. Like, uh, I thought that looked good. But you're 100 percent spot on. I thought it was all about their hardware and what they were doing. Mm-hmm. I was super oh, yeah. excited about the Game Pass. I was so excited. I went ahead and got it. Uh, oh yeah, absolutely <laughs> <laughs> got it. It was a dollar for the first month. Oh I yeah, can't lose. that's true. I can't lose. Hey, I, so, I do want to ask you about that. Is now is the yes. Game Pass only for the P, for the Xbox, or is it is also PC uh, Game Pass also eligible for that dollar? Because because uh, I'm gonna play some Gears of War. I never played Gears of War before. That's when I started. That's the first game I uh, installed was Gears of War. Oh, okay. Because I've never got a chance to play, and and I want to grind through that story. Yeah, uh, right? I hear it's actually really good. Like once you yeah. like, start getting into it, they really like build it up. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, yes, I'm gonna do it. I had that opportunity. Eventually, we'll get to have the uh, the opportunity to do Halo and other things. I think it's great, man. Like you're telling me now, I can play X. Like I signed up. I have now an account with Xbox, uh, and I don't even have an Xbox. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. got them. That's it. they're doing. They're opening it up to everybody. Like I don't give a shit what you play on, how you play it, but come through us. We got your back. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. It's smart. it's smart. I love the fact that they're they're just opening it up to everybody, uh, regardless of bias to what hardware or what you're yeah. using and what you have. It's just hey man, you guys you guys can play together on um whatever you have because. You know, you're all part of uh, our our family, and and this is how we do it. You know, right. so eventually, it's only will wisen up, and and they're starting to lean more towards that, uh, whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I I think that's a, a future that we're gonna see uh, sooner than later, where everything's just open now yeah. to everybody. You can play on all your devices, no matter what. Just get the controller, and and you can play anywhere. Yeah, that's right. cool. do, okay. Question then: mm-hmm. uh, Do you think Xbox will ever have a well named Xbox. <laughs> so the Xbox uh, ex- instead of the Xbox One Sad, you don't want that one. One Sad, three sixty. Yeah. There's 360. gonna be like a seven hundred and two oh. Scarlet Blue. Like, what are they gonna do? Like all their names, I they kind of sound cool, but there's just nothing with any of them, and they're not quite silly enough. And they're not quite like, you know, like the Switch, the Wii, the Wii, you know, like the Wii U. Like they're not quite silly enough for <laughs> to be bad in that kind of fun. It's called the direction. the next it's one's going like to be called. No edgelord, it's Scarlet. The next one's like, going to be okay. called the Xbox 360 or or something. I don't know. I, I, would, I wish they would. I wish they had the gumption to make a funny <laughs> title rather than just a dumb one. <laughs> Oh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But I mean, uh, yeah. So I mean, so the uh, yeah. So overall, Microsoft conference. Yeah, I, like the, the you know you're the, you know you're kind of, there's one point you were totally right that after I saw that 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 thing of Gears Five and then uh, and then uh, is it bit who's the who was the singer of that? I can't remember. I think it was Billy I no something Eilish. Anyways, uh, Eilish. Yeah, Billy Eilish. Yeah, that that song was like in my head for like the whole week. But like, uh, uh, but uh, yeah. So. Yeah, so I uh, so with Gears Five, it makes me want to play the older Gears, and I've never played them. Um, yeah. I have a reviewer, uh, his name is George. Give him a shout out. Uh, who who loves Gears and like uh, and he tells me I should always play all this stuff. So the uh, so yeah, so now that because of that because of this Xbox Xbox Pass, I'm probably am going to give it a shot and see. Uh, just do the just do the PC one and uh, see how good it is. Uh, you you got the PC the PC pass right, Smitty? So, so there was the PC pass. There was uh, and I believe Tashier said something about uh, uh, there being uh, a specific PC game pass, and then there's like the ultimate pass, uh, which you get like another level of games or something like that. I'm still kind of not sure what they 
they are. I got the dollar one. Mm. So I, you know what I mean? I got the dollar one. one. Yes, that's a good way of describing it. (laughs) Okay, well, we'll figure it out. Okay, so the next, uh, the next conference we had was the Bethesda conference. Um, uh, now, this is just my own personal taste. I am not big on Bethesda. Not, not that much. Uh, I think, like, I mean, Elder Scrolls is fun and stuff. They so they had some pretty cool stuff. Uh, I guess the biggest thing I got out of this that I really that I was actually amped up to to check out was Wolfenstein well, Youngbloods when that comes out. That was uh, uh, yeah, that, but that was basically basically. It. I mean, I, I, so I kind of was very distant on trying to fit, keep up with uh, uh, with with the stuff that was happening for uh, for Bethesda myself. Yeah, oh, I, I hate to admit, I was kind of the same. It was on, and I kept on getting distracted and then mm. not paying attention. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, like, I feel terrible, but, I mean, yeah. you know, like, that doesn't mean they're bad or anything, but I just have, I know I have, like, particular... You, you just didn't things. have anything, yeah, you didn't have anything invested in it. That's And, and it's perfectly right. fine, and we're not saying, like, in any way, like, in, like, I mean, Fallout 76, it seems like, I will say, though, with the, whatever they were saying with Fallout 76, it seems like they are definitely going all in with it, and then I think it's a good thing that they didn't, I mean, even though it had a rocky start, it seems like a... a from how they were describing it, it seems like it's gotten a lot better. So I'm not going to play it still because uh, it's uh, like that. I'm not. I'm, I don't have time for it. But like, it seems like it'll be pretty cool. Uh, uh, pretty cool to check out. But uh, were you? Did you have anything, or did you care uh, on Bethesda, uh, Smitty? <sighs> that was played out, and they came out with a battle royale NPCs that have. Uh, uh, quest trees and this and that. You mean now you guys brought back the thing that we already had that you guys took away? That you said <laughs> you didn't like the fact that you took away and then you brought it back, but now you brought it back with a battle royale. Are we back yet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, the like, original, I-, I thought the original idea was that they didn't want to have any NPCs inside seventy six. Though I think they were uh, was, uh, but but and then when they tried that, it failed. That like why would you do that? You know what I mean? Like, think about successful big games like that. Like, your idea is, I'm and, and I'm just going to go to, and I don't know how it works necessarily with, like, uh, GTA. Are there NPCs in GTA in, in the online? Uh, are, right? I don't know. I never played online, uh, GTA Online. I, I thought there were. I think they call I them. I might be wrong. Um, but, yeah. So, I mean, why would you not, you know, just to fill the world out a little bit and stuff like that. There's There were certain fundamental things, I think, that they had missteps with. Not only that, but then there were super – They I don't know. They, they almost had a bit of arrogance, uh, it felt, like with their community. Like, look, we know what's good for you guys. You need to listen to us. This is what we're going to do. And then their community responded appropriately. This is dog trash that you gave me. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> It, it, it completely flopped, you know. I mean, there was that interview with Todd where, like, basically, there he was just like, you know, yeah, we knew this game was going to be shit. Uh, you know, <laughs> Metacritic score, yeah, we knew it was going to be terrible. Why would you? you you're going to set your standards for that? That's not your standards. Your standards is to do is to do well. So, well, that's like, I, that was a lame ass excuse, you know. That's a, to, that yeah, could be arguable. You know, it's like you're doing you're doing a disservice to your to your uh, to your community and your fans. You know, they expect the best from you, and you guys are saying that you're going to give them the best and then you're saying oh yeah we knew it was going to do okay you know it was, you yeah. know like like it blows my mind because these games like they take so many man hours like even if they're bad they really do so it blows my mind that they could just come out and just be meh or bad or like they just could just not care about it like mm-hmm. It's it's crazy. Like they just these games take so much effort to make. I don't know like well but that's always been kind of to me always always been kind of never really was a hundred percent like i mean come on dude skyrim is a good game but skyrim system somewhat is a little busted <laughs> i mean it's not <laughs> it's not like it's not it wasn't like oh this was the graphics and stuff was amazing or anything it was it's still i mean it's still a little bit uh, it, it was still a little bit you know 50 50 and stuff but uh yeah but i mean yeah i will i will say for the most part it was it was uh, uh it was an all it was all right uh, but I guess one of the big ones, all, uh, the big one I would also say that is Doom Eternal. If you have you have you played have you played the first Doom the the Doom that came back uh, that came originally? No, uh, original original or like no the, no the, the one game. that came out like two years ago I believe two or that three years ago. That one I didn't get to play actually. That game was really fun though, so I will say yeah. that was a uh, yeah that was a real fun one. So if Doom Eternal is but now it's like I believe it's Hell on Earth. 
Yeah, uh, is, is this one, and uh, this one's going to be crazy. They showed the demo at the end of the uh, uh, of the Bethesda uh, at the Bethesda thing. That's the one thing I I did pay attention on. And then yeah, they had, that one was yeah. the one that, like, kind of grabbed my attention. I'm like, oh hey, yeah, hey, you kids. brought you brought the I did not see this. oh they brought all the cool stuff that what that you, that you remember from Doom originally, which was like the BFG the BFG nine thousand and uh, like uh the the giant cyber uh, uh like cyber minotaur and stuff like that great and the coolest thing is that the is the music because the music change like the uh the music while you're destroying and all this stuff is happening is just so great so yeah so I, i'm definitely going to get that in, uh, uh but now i'm going to probably get that one on stadia if i if i'm if i'm still on stadia when it happens yeah, yeah i know i just to see how like, do i got i gotta play that sucker on 4k <laughs> but like yeah. but yeah, like yeah <laughs> i gotta play it on 4k uh but uh yeah so that one's gonna be yeah so th that was actually pretty cool there was also some weird ones that they kind of trickled in if i remember correctly like uh like they had like a uh, uh i forgot the name of the japanese create the japanese um um creator that that they brought in i think uh uh, I forgot what game he made, but uh, he, there was a game that there was that was coming out called Ghostwire. Now, the one thing that really irritates me with one of these with these kind of games is when they don't show when they show just video, and uh, and I don't uh. like so like when they show previews of just the video of stuff like that, it just really like. I mean, okay, it looks looks mediocre, but like I don't know what it is. Like, I mean, kind of like which was which was kind of at one point in time was irritating me with Dead Stranding. It's like I don't know the gameplay. So I mean, you show me all these beautiful video things, yes, and I know Hideo Kojima's good with his uh, with his anima uh, with his animation, but I need gameplay. <laughs> Just let me know, like, what what am I expecting out of all this? Uh, but uh, still, it's like when they showed they showed Ghostwire, um, it was basically a lot of a lot of military, like a lot. Uh, no, am I thinking that differently? Is Ghostwire the one that was like the people were disappearing? Yeah. So like people were disappearing, yeah. yeah. People were disappearing, and um, and uh, you are trying to find out like what is going on and uh, uh, and try to see if there's a way to stop it or try to reverse it. But once again, it might be too early to tell. Probably won't see this sucker until next year, and uh, yeah. see see what's going to happen. But uh, yeah, so but uh, uh, some they, they did sprinkle a little bit of extra tidbits and stuff, but uh, it was it was it was all right. I mean, an all right conference, I guess. But uh, <clears throat> we'll go with that. And uh, what else was there? The gameplay looked dope, though. What? I said that gameplay looks good. Uh, looks dope for what? Doom. Oh, Doom. Yeah, yeah, Doom. Oh, yeah. yeah, Doom oh, looks yeah. amazing. <laughs> I thought you said Ghostwire. It's like, is there gameplay I missed? <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. So no, that's awesome. Yeah, Doom was looked really nice. I will say. Uh, the next one was the. You know what? I'm not even gonna acknowledge that one. But the next one is Ubisoft. I didn't watch it because I don't like Ubisoft conferences. <laughs> uh, it was on too, but um, gosh, what was it that was on there that was oh, all right? Just dance. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah. uh, was that was that the one with Mac where he had a uh, Mac from It's Always Sunny? Where yes. his, yeah, that one was amazing. Uh, I know again, it's completely not a game, but it's a show like the office except it's game developers uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> like it was i don't did you see that one i did all? not like, was, i totally it was missed so funny so okay one like i am a fangirl of his so whatever but uh -huh. the whole thing is just like this uh adventure quest and they're making the most breathtaking game that sold 80 billion copies even though there's not that many people on earth and mm -hmm. just it's this huge sprawling most fantastic iconic game ever and the mind behind it and it's you know mac from it's always sunny mm -hmm. and the whole thing is a pre is it like a trailer for it that they're showing to like the staff like the developers and like the team there and he's in it and he's like just shirtless at the end of it and the staff's just like that's not a game what are you doing <laughs> what's this advertisement and like that's it <laughs> that's funny oh uh, god it, uh, it looks really really funny like i'm really excited to see it it, lo it looks great <laughs> okay yeah i mean I, I okay i'll take uh, that sounds funny is it wait is this was it a show, show? No, it's only not even a game it's a show based on game developers so wait, did they announce? Did they announce the show on Ubisoft's press conference? Is that what they essentially did? I think it was the Ubisoft one. Oh my gosh, man! It's great though. Look it uh, up. I gotta watch. 
I'll check that out. It sounds funny. Don't get me wrong. It sounds yeah, funny, yeah, you but look. you're gonna do that on your on your on your announcement. It's like you have like I, the biggest thing hey, I would have thought. Oh, you geez. almost wanted to skip it. That's why it's there. No, thank you for I bringing that up. I will admit, <laughs> but still, it's like what? It's like why would you show that? Why would you show that on the show? Uh, it's really weird. But uh, I mean, it's a video game show, I guess. So that's kind of cool. That's yeah, cool that it's you know sprawled out into like the hey, we can make a show about this territory. I won't it's be cool. surprised. I yeah, I guess the biggest thing that they will have is obviously the Tom Clancy series. So like, you know, like uh, mm-hmm. the new Ghost Recon that's coming out. I, I didn't see, mm-hmm. I, and I won't say I, I saw it. I did not see it. I didn't see the uh, 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 po- there has to be something big on the division. Was there any announcements on the division? Did the year one uh, link was dropped. Um but they did a year one announcement, basically what 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 the plan is and what they're gonna do. Uh, I did want to talk about Watch Dogs uh, Legions. Oh yeah, so, that's right. Uh, I I did play. I played original Watch Dogs. I can't remember if I played Watch Dogs two or not. I enjoyed this game a lot. Uh, I didn't, you know, I felt like um, at least when it was out, there wasn't really a lot of people that were on it. I guess. Well, but well the I first Watch it was Dogs, a cool game. Yeah, the first Watch Dogs kind of had a bad rep because they kind of felt that they were lied to uh on from what they were shown and what 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 came out but it was an, it was a good it was a good enough game though it was still it was still good you know so yeah i enjoyed it so yeah this this uh this new one uh you know that's coming out one it looks dope like it definitely uh i definitely am interested to check it out and see what it's about because i enjoyed that uh that first one so uh yeah, yeah. I never but really. That, I didn't really catch a lot of uh, a lot of what uh, Ubisoft had to offer. I mean, even with the division mm-hmm. uh, stuff and whatnot, I didn't. Uh, I still haven't really. I just. I just haven't gotten to to uh, a chance to watch. I. I mean, again, there wasn't anything really that I felt that I was like, oh, I gotta watch this because you know this is getting announced. Um, I don't know, I guess I just I kind of felt that way about a lot of a lot of the stuff really. Mm. Well, I mean, it wasn't like like I said like the. Uh the Nintendo or like uh ubisoft doesn't really come like i have always thought that ubisoft has some of the worst shows like uh personally <laughs> so like uh when it comes to it so i never really wasted my time on it uh yeah. cause, and because they, they just drag on <gasps> i mean it's not it's not saying that they're a bad developer because they are a really good developer it's just that they just don't but they just don't know when to stop when it comes to like you know announcing at e3 so uh so yeah. i was like eh, i'm gonna yeah. take a break uh, okay, so the next one was uh, Square Enix. Uh, the big one was, I guess, Square Enix had some pretty big, uh, big hits on that one. So, the, of course, the obvious big one was the Final Fantasy VII remake, uh, which was actually playable at uh, at on the floor uh, there t- this year. So that was actually pretty cool. We can get I can get into that a little bit. Uh, then they also had like the the big the, the big part the big points of uh, uh, of Square was like that one. Uh, the the long awaited Marvel Avengers, which in my opinion, if you watch the video of that, they look weird. I mean, like mm-hmm. all the characters yeah. look weird. <laughs> I mean, the, I, I I was yeah bit. yeah you wouldn't you wouldn't think that this was a Marvel this was a Square Enix game. Like it looks like something that could have been made by anybody, and it just doesn't. I, I mean. I'll give it benefits of the doubt because the game's not coming out until next year, so maybe it's just being it's just rough on the edges. But still, it's like I hope they change how they look. I hope it's not that's not their final their final thing on it. Yeah, so, I mean, remember remember uh, Street Fighter. So, <laughs> oh god, you know what? I, you know what I believe? If they didn't raise enough of a stink of why Chun Li looked like he, she was just like uh, she was like high on crack or something that i bet you it was gonna be it was gonna stay in the game so i don't yeah, know probably it's like yeah, yeah no she, she's had drug problems right that's part of the story right <laughs> yeah exactly yeah you remember when she was like <laughs> she was doing great <laughs> questionable things just to get crack oh uh, yeah <laughs> yeah it's like i was one of her supers actually anyways <laughs> the, uh, uh, so funny yeah so the next one was also like uh they released a new ip called outsiders um, this one's very little little known because they just showed video on this as well. It seems like it was like a uh, 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 post apocalyptic uh, a world where these people are trying to get uh, trying to uh, trying to survive and also trying to beat these giant beasts. Uh, it's a co op. It's, it's a co op action game though too, and it's uh, from the creators of Bullet Storm, which I will say Bullet Storm is one of the most underrated first person shooter games out there. So if you uh, uh uh so if you and I, they just recently did a remake, 
if you like FPSs, you need to try Bullet Storm. Uh, so you would definitely, I think you would enjoy it. Um, and then also the Final Fantasy VIII remaster uh, is coming coming soon. Oh yeah, so that one, uh, uh, that one's pretty cool. I'm glad that they're they're, they're they, that one definitely needed it. If any any of them, so yeah, so that's cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Oninaki, which is uh, one I'm actually anticipating. I really hope they do so they do promote this more because Oninaki. I don't know if people know this, but uh, the creator of Oninaki is the creator of Chrono Trigger. And uh, oh wow, yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, wow. yeah. So I know that. yeah, so the uh, so Oninaki is gonna be it's gonna be a really it, it's a it, it's an interesting one. It's like a demon, like uh, I forgot what it was about, like a. Uh, Oh, you're, you're a demon slayer, I have to believe. So, yeah, you're a demon slayer, and it had the uh, the story. So, like, yeah, so if anything, I would, I am really having high hopes for this uh, for this game, um, uh, the slasher. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. But so, I mean, basically, the elephant in the room is going to be Final Fantasy VII. The game is freaking yeah. gorgeous. Um, yeah, yeah. It, it looks so great. I'm really excited for that one because that was one of those games, like, it came out and it was almost immediately unplayable because of the graphics. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Like, I, I swear, it was like a year and a half, and I was like, I can't. I'm like, no. I told you. You and know so, what? People. Because it's amazing, too. And I know when I saw a lot of it, I watched my brother play a lot of it, but that was one of those games I just never wanted to pick up myself. Uh, like, just the, the look of it, I just, I couldn't. It was, oh gosh. Like, people and don't want to be like, uh, yeah. It was like, like, I know, like, you you know, we're, we're recording for a podcast, but, like, my arms are just straight out, and, like, that's how she was shaped, and then the, it'll go to the blocky forms, and then those were so bad, like, I, I couldn't. I did play Final Fantasy Eight, like, that was fine, pixel layer of time, but, like, there's just something about Seven, I was like, this is just so, I just can't, like, I just, I never picked it up then. Now I'm less particular about those kinds of things, but it's like, I'm not gonna play that now, except mm. now. Now with the remake, uh, yeah, I will. I want to know that story. Like, I know a lot of it, what happens in it, but I want to sit through and experience that story, like as somebody who's gonna get it and understand. People it. want to it's believe, like, seriously, maybe. seriously. People want to believe that, like, they don't like to play a game. Like, uh, when they play a game, they're playing the game because of the quality of the game and uh, and the style. And you know what? There are people out there like that. Like for kid, me, yeah, yeah. When I was a kid, yeah, yeah totally. but yeah, yeah. But for me, like, I'm just saying that, like, dude, seven has aged so badly. Like, you can't play you can't play it you i mean and and, and it's fine it's like you just people just got to be more like uh got to be more straight it's like you there are going to be people that are going to be like wanting to play that game again and they can but but sometimes it hurts it hurts a lot just to yeah, just to go deal with those polygons one. yeah it, so no it, it was rough so i don't judge so you i don't I judge you when you say that you can't beat that you can't do it and me i hate the game i'm not a big seven fan and i and i don't think that like uh uh, I think that the uh, uh, I think that this game looks really cool. Uh, uh, looks really really cool, and I'll give it a chance. And I said, and I've said a long time ago that I'll play a Dead or Seven game when they remake it, and uh, because yeah. like there's no way in heck I'll waste my time going through what I had to waste through for the first time around when I played it. So so yeah <laughs> yeah so the uh, so the game um, no but the and the, what I love about this game and this is what uh, what I tried because this is what I tried on the demo floor was the style. Because uh, it's a it's a hybrid. It's a uh, yeah. it's a turn it's a turn based it's a turn based action game. So like what you can do like the the way the game works is that you're so you're you're perfect. You're you're you you, you can control both the characters. Uh, when you switch your characters, the ca other character becomes AI and is assisting you. But like uh, when you're the one of the characters, you have you do to basically hack and slash moves. There's a meter below your your number uh, your health meter. If your meter goes to the max, it switches to a bullet time mode, which switch, which is which allows you to change, uh, which allows you to do a turn based attack or like uh, materia or like like fire fire and stuff like that. That sounds and, awesome. Yeah, that sounds like exactly what I wanted like Final Fantasy gameplay to turn into. Oh right? yeah, so like that, so like the way that worked and the way the transition is, and what I love about this. It, everything's in game graphics. There's no, there's no cutscenes of uh, of any sort. Like it, like there's no transitions of like you know, like uh, how it was back in the day. Obviously, <laughs> those um, transitions were so yeah, hard back in the day. <laughs> yeah. So like, I love the game. I mean, I love the style of the game. I I love it. The one thing that really throws me off is two. There's two things that throw me off. This is episodic, and uh, and two. Uh, that limited edition box set is insanely expensive for an episodic game. So, like, I'm say what? 
that the the thing the cloud was that uh oh the bike uh, statue whatever mm-hmm. that thing was like yeah that thing looked like it was a good size oh it was nice but dude like to say like can you imagine saying okay we're gonna give you a collector's edition the collector's edition is gonna cost you three hundred and thirty dollars and then Ugh. like did you, but do you like wait you're gonna get, is this gonna include all the games is this gonna include like i mean what is it including if you're gonna give me all of that so what the heck dude seriously so like uh like uh, i i kind of don't agree with that but the uh uh and the fact that they are like because and then secondly they didn't say when i asked them like so like w- do y'all have a plan of how you're going to fully complete this they're saying it's too early to tell at this time i'm just like i'm worried that it's going to be to a point where you're going to beat the game then you're going to have that one year two year hiatus of uh not finishing out to see how the game finishes and that's that's the one thing yeah. that, that i'll be like you know what I, and i can wait i can wait till everything's done and then when that's done then i'll probably play it but uh, way right. well yeah. afterwards i mean we waited this i'm not gonna long, do this so. yeah yeah so uh but the game is beautiful definitely i'm looking forward to it unfortunately as for marvel avengers i wanted to get a chance to play it but i did not have time i had too many meetings uh uh but the uh other than that like uh like uh, from what i'm wanting to see on that one is uh obviously gameplay and better yet the uh <laughs> excuse me better yet better design on their characters because come on dude y'all y'all had three years three years on this ca- <laughs> uh, uh, in this game and yet and, and it's like and and you're square enix there's no excuses on this i mean you've you like I don't understand well, like who like oh Crystal Dynamics it's Crystal Dynamics they're the ones that do that do uh, Tomb Raider so I don't understand like how how they can just be how it could be so bad it just it, it it's so disappointing to see that that's 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 what kind of got me when I saw that so I was like what the yeah heck? It, yeah it, it looks weird it definitely it, looks kind of it, it's just off I don't know how but it's off <laughs> like when I saw when I saw Cap yeah when I saw Captain America I was like is that Captain America like. Like what the heck is that? He looks like a he just looks like a dude, bro. You know, like just like with the with the frosted tips and stuff up at the top. Captain I'm just like, America. yeah, no, right? I, mean, I don't know what this was. So, yeah, so I was, uh, I was, yeah, I was disappointed to say the least. But uh, yeah, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I know there's a beta that you can sign up for when it comes out or when it's available. Uh, other than that, okay. So, uh, uh, so I don't have an opinion on that overall. Um, so the last and the last conference that I believe, last but not least, is the Nintendo conference, which, which clearly was probably the best. I would say it's the best conference that came out. Um, but this was a very, very mediocre, like o- overall, very mediocre uh, uh, year uh, for E3. Yeah, I, so, I mean, I, I I'd agree with that that yeah. vibe. Um, like obviously, I'm super excited. Like I still haven't played Breath of the Wild yet. Mm-hmm. It's like oh next. Up, it's, I know, I know. I got some of the Metal Gear stuff. I gotta play because of the crowdfunding. You know, like the film project I'm gonna be doing. But like Breath of the Wild is there. Like that's like right up on my. That's like knocking at my door. Next thing I'm gonna be playing, and I love the aesthetic of it. And see that this one's getting a sequel. And with how few Zelda games actually get like direct sequels like that, I'm like, oh, oh, I am super mm-hmm. excited. For that and it looks fantastic. I think like, this is really the first just that little teaser alone. I think this is the first straight sequel that came between two two giant consoles because like uh, uh the other one was a link to the past and a link between worlds and I don't believe the other uh, other ones really linked. Um, um I forget with Majora's Mask. I think it was technically. Oh a yeah, you're right. Majora's Mask. Yeah. Oh, no, you're totally right. And I I haven't played enough of them in depth because I I tend not to play a lot of handhelds. Like I played Minish yeah. Cap, but that was like it. Um, like, so Ocarina of Time was my first Majora's Mask, and then, like, you know, some of the other ones on the newer consoles, but, other than that. Uh, yeah, they have, like, an actual, like, real sequel for one of them, especially such a recent one, too, like, it doesn't feel gimmicky, it feels like, yeah, they got a place for this to go, they got a good idea, and then they want it to go there, so, I'm, I'm excited for it, very excited. I want to see, yeah, so, like, I mean, so the big ones, like, the big games that came out, that were coming out was the Pokemon Sword, Pokemon Shield, as usual, as we know, uh, the one that, you know, the one I'm wanting... I'm really wanting to play is Luigi Mansion 3 because I played the first Luigi Mansion back on the GameCube and I loved it. Right and I was now. like, I never played this yet. Oh, say, say what, Smitty? I never played any of the Luigi Mansions. Oh, yeah. It's it's basically like if Ghostbusters, it's basically a good Ghostbusters game if uh, uh, <laughs> Ghostbusters deterrent. 
I will say, except that he's such a scaredy cat on the, uh, but this time instead of in the mansion, he's in a, this time he, they're in a hotel. Uh, and, uh, what was cool? Awesome. Yeah. What's cool about that though, too, is that the, uh, uh, at, on the show floor, there the uh, people that were doing the uh, doing Luigi Mansion stages, they were bell hops. They were dressed up as old school bell hops and stuff. That's awesome. It was really, That's it was so really awesome. cool. It was really cool. I love it. Yeah. So oh, that, man. Yeah. So obviously the the yeah the sequel for uh uh a link's uh, uh what's called uh uh the the link on Switch. I can't remember what it's just called. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's the name of the Zelda on on Switch? The Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild, yeah. Sorry, jeez, I don't know why I, I, I uh, brain farted okay. that. Brain farts. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So Breath of the Wild two is coming out. That's a big one. It's, uh, it's going to be. It's in development currently, so probably won't see that until like another year or two. Uh, Zelda's Link Awakening is coming out li- this year, later this year, which uh, basically is a game that came out on the Game Boy, the original Game Boy back in 1989. And this is a. Uh, I'm. A, I will say that this is a. This was. This is a good one. Um, it's hard if I remember correctly, uh, but I think I think you would definitely enjoy it. The style is a little weird, but I think it's a. It's a cutesy style for for what it, what it, it would represent. It's weird, but I dig it. Like, yeah. I think it's cool, and I think it's really cool that like Zelda's having you know more than one thing being announced and happening, and they're leaning into those styles for those different Zelda series that they have going on. And that's really cool. Oh yeah, There's definitely. It's of Hyrule. Crypt of the Necro Dancer featuring yeah. yeah, that is a fun game. Cadence of Hyrule. Yeah, that was a really fun game. And I think that people kind of underestimated that one, but uh yeah, I was like like when I saw that, I bought it immediately cuz uh, the game the game style is always fun. Have you ever heard of uh uh, uh Beats of the Necromancer, Sesh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, love I it. have. Like it's yeah, it's it looks so fun. Like I I've seen people play it like this is adorable in <laughs> such <Yeah>. a weird way <laughs> so the uh the legendary hero is added in um in uh in super smash brothers they also announced banjo kazooie who's coming in Dude. late uh 2019 in the fall so that's going to be pretty Dude, cool I, I am so excited for banjo kazooie like as someone who didn't really play banjo kazooie growing up i knew how important it was that he was going to be in this game since they you know since it was coming out i was like oh banjo kazooie has to be in this one they have all the characters in this mm-hmm. smash brothers game they need banjo kazooie he he was a staple like he really was he was one of like their their just i i don't know i want to say i guess underrated platformers i will say but he's underrated yeah platformers because it's like why why is it taking them so long for him like he's he's such I, an excellent choice the problem so is glad he's finally in it. The, i think We're the problem is is that it. is uh that it was it was technically owned by uh, since since it was owned by rare and rare is now owned by microsoft it might have could have been a copyright <laughs> thing forever so who knows i don't even know if rare yeah. even exists anymore to be honest with you so the uh Let's see. So, like, uh, they said they're bringing back, they're porting over Resident Evil 5 and 6. So, I do remember that. Uh, yeah, they're, kind they're, of cool. Yep. They're doing a Panzer Dragoon remake, which is freaking awesome. I'm so surprised that they're going to do that. Uh, no More Heroes 3, which is a big surprise for me since they've released two, like, last year. So, they're real. So, Suda51 <laughs> is working overtime on that. That's a fun game. Have you heard of, have you heard of the, uh, that series? Yeah. Oh man, it's yeah. so fun. Yeah, that 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 one said I have a lot of friends who like that one. Like it's just kinda fun action y <laughs> Oh god. Silly yes. fun, you know? <laughs> god yes, yeah. It was so it was so yeah. great. Animal Crossing, yeah. uh the new Animal Crossing got delayed to twenty twenty. Yeah, so speaking of being overworked, I'm actually I this is really refreshing to me that they're not overworking everyone to mm-hmm, have right. it out on time, that they're actually delaying it and just going to do it right. Like I, I do feel like sometimes Nintendo really does make the right moves and like something like that is a right move. Well the big thing I'm kinda of worried about is that if Animal Crossing twenty twenty is com- is coming in twenty twenty, what, what what when are they gonna release Metroid, man? Cause that's like, uh, cause yeah, yeah, I mean that's like, the, I mean Metroid was is the model just they I think they they really bit the bullet on announcing that one, but uh, uh, so early because we're not gonna I mean if Metroid doesn't come out next year, that's saying that the game the, the announcement came out would come out four years. It'd be four years for when it was initially uh, announced. So. That's the one I can't really care about, but we'll see. Yeah. Uh, the cool one I'm also looking at for too is this one called Astral Chain. That was a really cool, uh, a cool, uh, cool trailer that they had, uh, and I know that's in uh, in-game graphics and stuff. Yeah, Metroid's good. Yeah, so like a, uh, uh, yeah, so that one is good. I think that's also Suda Fifty One. Uh, no, that's Platinum. Platinum is making that one. So that one's a. Uh, 
uh, that one's going to be an action an action game with a really crazy story, uh, knowing Platinum, which I think is going to be very was going to be very worth it. So, so, uh, so yeah. So Nintendo has a has a bunch of stuff in the works this year. Uh, most of it's coming in. It's going to be coming in. Uh, uh, most of it's coming in this year, but then there's there's some that's, that's trickling on 2020. So, so that'll be freaking that's freaking awesome. Uh, so yeah so but yeah so yeah. basically that was uh e3 overall in the nutshell um was there anything that that y'all i would say that y'all were really super hyped up about overall for e3 this year i mean that that was really it for me honestly that like that hit we hit all the notes i wanted to talk about for that like this year wasn't a huge huge year for me like that last year i mean we had smash and resident evil 2 so it was like uh and it was just such a big year for me so i i knew that this year was going to be impossible to follow that up <laughs> like it's right. like two it's like two of my favorite game series so and like i was able to get in there and do all that this year i wasn't able to go and then like there's just nothing that quite fills you know the void of resident evil and and like an entire new smash brothers game like that that's just too big of news for me to completely love the c3 but like i, I think it's really cool like i'm definitely excited for a lot of these games and i i like a lot of the directions a lot of them are going and it was it's still really fun to watch this stuff yeah. Well, and and uh, from the live stream at T- T- uh, Tashir Games says I'm upset we didn't hear from Rock City, uh, the Arkham series in particular. The only I'm actually got more mad about is that you know what I mean. Arkham, I think Arkham has reached its uh, reached this thing with the, at the end with Arkham uh, Arkham Knight, the the storyline towards it. But I am upset that they that Rocksteady has been quiet for six years, five to six years. Like I don't know, like I, I mean, it doesn't have to be an Arkham game for them to to, to do. If it's in any kind of game, because they, we they we know that they're that they're very capable of what they uh, uh, of skill. But I don't understand, like, like what is like the, what is going on? Because remember, there was like years ago, there was rumors on them saying that they were going to be doing a Superman game, and uh, but and it's still still quiet. So, like, I'm I understand to- it, it does take time to make a game, but come on, not hearing absolutely nothing is a little weird. It's a little weird to me. Just saying, you know, uh, yeah. So. Uh, but I mean, yeah, that was, that was a little bit of the downside. But then again, like I said, there, we're, it's full. I mean, the, we, we're, we're going to have a full amount of, uh, full amount of games this year. Uh, the big one for me personally was, uh, well, you know, surprisingly, there was two. Um, I would say the, for, the big number one's obviously Cyberpunk 2077. Um, yeah. I, I was, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I, I, so I was invited, uh, to, to do the, uh, to, uh, uh from, from CD Project Red to go do the behind closed door session of a uh, of cyberpunk and uh was able to see a part of of like the store uh, the story building and uh it was a one hour demo of it and then like so i wow. saw yeah so when i when i messed her when they uh when they were showing it um I, they were like okay you could do you could do uh, uh you have so many different options and opportunities to do certain different kinds of things uh to uh but you get to uh get to the same point so like uh we had to find this drug lord uh this one oh no this hacker this one this one hacker he's like but he's creel and he doesn't talk to like a other uh, anyone outside of the creel community so you had to uh you had to meet him meet him at his own home turf then you had to go through this whole ordeal just trying to find the real version of him then when you do, he's telling you that he needs he needs to go. We need to go uh, hit a specific secured, uh, secured stack so he would be able to uh, uh, to get enough juice to find out what the super this chip that's inside your head uh, does because uh, the chip that's inside your head uh, basically uh, is the uh, the formula to have eternal life apparently. So <laughs> so so yeah nice. so. Yeah, so like, uh, so they're, so the whole process of that, of what you can do, options, like the, uh, the, uh, like a character design, anything like the, the, like just the customization is amazing. The gameplay is amazing. Like at first I thought I wouldn't like first person, but this version of this game is amazing. It was, was that worked perfectly for it. So, uh, so I was like, okay, cool. So, uh, let's just do it and see where it's, where, where it goes. And, uh, then of course it stops at a cliffhanger and I'm like, okay, great. So all I have to do is wait a freaking year to, <laughs> uh, to continue on on it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So they gave us this awesome, this awesome cyberpunk jacket. 
and uh, uh, actually, you know, what? actually, I should show that to, show that to you. So this was a uh, this was it was really fun, uh, but uh, uh, until. Uh, I'll show it here in a minute. But then there was also uh, the other game I was surprised about was Dying Light Two, because uh, yeah. uh, like Dying Light Two actually had so so like like is so much better on Mir- than Mirror's Edge. It's not even funny because just story wise and then also like like action wise and then just just mechanics. It just was surprisingly great. So uh, the feel of it was good and it was all first person as well. Uh, and then your decisions are actually weighted, so you have like you like you got to be careful on what you decide because it because there's there's certain scenari- certain situations where <clears throat> you will unlock new crazier monsters, or you can find an easier path to get to these different kinds of things. So yeah, it is a fun game. I will I will definitely uh, uh, give it that. So uh, uh, yeah, that was uh, that was game. Uh, what about you, Smitty? Let me uh, let me go get that jacket and uh, uh, while you while you say something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So on on the point of the the rock star thing too, like again, like you know, it it is. I'm I'm not surprised that they didn't uh, say anything. I think personally, they could already be moving on to next gen and just be building mm-hmm. out for next gen. You know what I mean? Why do it? We're on the tail. Yeah, end. yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I don't have anything big to announce yet because we're still dialing all that stuff in uh, as far as with that. So I'm not, you know. You know, it'd be nice for people to be able to get, you know, a little insight into what's going on. But at the same time, I'm sure that they are hard at work uh, doing some things. And I think they're already building out for that next generation, uh, which is why we really haven't heard much from them at all. Um, Also from the live stream, uh, Stu Jersey says no Splinter Cell from Ubisoft. That's interesting. I, I don't even remember the last time, you know, I remember I started out playing the Tom Clancy series, playing a Splinter Cell, you know what I mean? And those games are very, you know, I mean, that's, you know, kind of like with Division and stuff like that, where you have to very much sneaking around and, and kind of, you know, you very can't fun. just go in, you know what I mean? You got to be, you got to be smart and tactical about yeah, it. Yeah, that was one of those games like, hey, you like Metal Gear? Like, you're, you're going to like these Exactly. Exactly. I remember. So, yeah, the, I feel yeah. like it has been a while since we've heard something about uh, a Splinter Cell. Yeah, it's been it's been years actually. Yeah, it has been years. Wow. It, yeah, that's that's surprised that they that they kind of put that one on the bench. Uh, th- but I do remember that the one of the directors from Ubisoft got in trouble from a tweet that he did like last month because he was kidding about a Splinter Cell reveal. And, uh, and and all oh, of a no. sudden, yeah. And then like someone, then he says he then the next week he's like, oh, I got in trouble with it. And then I'm like, oh man, that's funny. Aww. So, but uh, I, yeah, that, that is true. Splinter Cell, well, not all Splinter Cells were great, but I, I think I think I stopped at Double Agent. And uh, but there was some, that, yeah. Actually, that's a good question. I'm not sure when the last Splinter Cell was. Let me see. But yeah, I, it's been a while though. It's been a long time. Yeah, Splinter Cell. Probably they're all busy because of uh, the other Tom Clancy IPs that they have. Right. Let's see. It was also saying Red Dead Redemption 2 for PC. When's that set? You know, I know they did. They had talked about that, didn't they? But you know, mm-hmm. and another one I just thought about too was Bayonetta 3. They wouldn't hear, we didn't hear anything about that, and I was just like, yeah, uh, wow, yeah. So I don't know, like what, like what they're playing on with that, with, uh, with those. So it's basically Bayonetta and uh, Metroid that that, that that has a giant question mark. See last one or so. Uh, that's one day. Oh yeah. So oh, also, uh, what happened at me at uh at the co- convention is my phone my phone got stolen. So so, <sighs> so yeah. So that was uh that, that was a fun sucks, ordeal. Man, that sucks. You know, yeah, but like, uh, like there's a, t- it was to a point where I can only do what uh, I can only do so much, and uh, so I tried to not make it get to me. But when I started thinking about it, right. I'm like. No, <laughs> it's like yeah, but uh, yeah, but uh, no, but I was able to go to certain parties. Like I went to the game. There was a GameSpot party uh that happened. I was drinking a lot, and it made me feel better <laughs> just for that short bit. But, <laughs> so yeah, I thought that story was gonna be how like you lost the phone, and I was drinking a lot, and then you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's so crazy. Oh, okay. The last Splinter Cell was wow. Okay, last Splinter Cell was Tom Clancy Splinter Cell Blacklist on twenty thirteen in twenty thirteen. So that was six years ago. So yeah, I don't know what is going on. My gosh, yeah. So that's that's weird. Uh, yeah. But the coolest thing was where you could just bump in. Like you, I bumped into so many like random people. Like you would never think. Like like it was it was funny. So like uh so 
like most of the time when I was at E3 this year, I was going through, I was doing like appointments with, with developers and companies and stuff. And like, so I was like, there was one point in time where I'm inside the convention hall, but then there's, there's certain off site ones you had to go to. So I'm literally racing from like the convention center, racing like three blocks just to get to where the other destination is and then, uh, and then have at it. So like, uh, so I go and go to the Figueroa hotel and uh, they were doing this thing for John Wick Hex. And uh, and uh, did did the thing, talked to the people and stuff, and then was leaving. And then I just like bumped into Felicia Day. <laughs> and I was like, yes! I was like, that is oh so random. Gosh, I love her. Yeah, it's so random and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's so random on who you get to meet over there. But uh, no, I'm I'm gonna definitely do it again next year. It's a, it was a it was a great experience, and uh, hopefully, I stay longer than I did. But uh, uh, here's the uh, here's the the jacket they gave me. Uh, with the uh, cyberpunk they uh it's this really cool black jacket oh, wow. That's great. with like a uh, uh with the thing but on the back it has the samurai logo and then uh and stuff but what's also cool about this was that it also goes inside out as a br- bright yellow Cyberpunk 2077 <laughs> jacket. It, uh, Luke Cage. Focus up. It's a yeah. Luke Cage hoodie. <laughs> it's Luke Cage hoodie. Yes, exactly. So I definitely love. I love this. That that, that thing I'm keeping forever. So that's great. Yeah. That's, that's so really good. great. So I love good hoodies. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not even a hoodie. That's just a regular rain jacket. It was really nice. Uh, I, I was just like, I loved it. <laughs> nice one. Uh, all I mean, right. No, I, I love the free swag. I'm all about the free swag. I'm like, give me my pajamas, give yeah. me my workout clothes, give me the shirts I actually really like enough to wear everywhere. Like, I mean, that's literally what I'm wearing now and probably what I've worn, I think, like the last few streams. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I can be comfortable all the like, time. shirts from companies. Yeah. 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 It's, always, it's, it's always fun and nice to do that, too. It's like, oh, cool. I'm repping the company. Hopefully they rep me. They'll, they'll give me some more free stuff. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? We yep. should all just wear these sponsored shirts, guys. <laughs> <laughs> definitely mm-hmm. all right so we will stop it right now uh wow yeah so it was exactly almost an hour a little bit over an hour so that was actually pretty cool i was like it yeah. i liked it all right yeah. guys thank you for stopping by as always we really appreciate everyone stopping by and checking us out live you can uh, also go on uh cfg's uh cfg gamecast on podbean uh apple uh apple podcast google podcast <laughs> excuse me or and uh stitcher radio just giving us a follow or just listening on the radio on the go while you're working out whatever that's be awesome and you can also check uh the uh the amazing people that i am with with smitty at smitty 2447 does a lot of random uh d- does a lot of variety streaming currently is hype on death garden <laughs> right now right yeah i've been playing that <laughs> I going, like it. Yeah, you've been going pretty good, actually. I've been watch. I was watching it a little bit last night. I'm like, dang, dude, you just you're figuring out. It's like, if if like I am completely a like have no idea what the heck is going on in this game. But he's like, he's like touching pillars. And he's like going on top of rocks, and then he's like going back. And he's like, he's charging something up. I'm like, what? What do you have to do <laughs> like just to win this game? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> but it's but it's just mesmerizing to see. It's like, man, I have like I have like a to do list. I have to do all of this in this short period of time before I get killed. But it was really cool. Check his right. stuff out. Awesome stuff. Smitty two four four seven. Sesh. I know Sesh is, may not have a full schedule yet, but you can always definitely check her out on Review Sesh. She does a lot of mostly a lot of Resident Evil stuff. Well, no, currently playing Spider Man. Well, Currently playing yeah, Spider-Man. Playing Spider-Man, variety gamer, lots of horror games. I love horror games, and uh, hoping to move on to some Metal Gear games because of my project coming up. Woo! Yes. By the way, you <laughs> should play. There's a game that's coming out uh, from Funcom called Moons of Madness. You should play Ooh. that. You should play that one when that comes out. This comes out in, uh, ah. uh, comes out on Halloween. <laughs> Oh heck yeah! I'm yes. in. Done. I'm in. You definitely, would, yeah. You should definitely play that one. I, I would love to watch you watch, watch you play that. Uh, and I play only horror games. Yes. In October. Oh, Easy. see, that's perfect. Moods of Madness would be perfect for that for you. You would love it. Uh, and you can go on CFG Games where I have a crew. Kohaku Moon is one of my crew that's on that's inside the chat now. But we also play a variety of different kinds of games. Uh, Monster Hunter, uh, and t- I think tomorrow, hopefully, hopefully, the last 
episode of Tales of Vesperia, finishing that sucker up. So definitely CFG Games is always great, is, is good. Or we also do a lot of content on our main website, confreaksandgeeks.com. We do a lot of reviews at the conventions for video games, manga, anime, what have you. We, uh, we got it. So definitely. But everyone, thank you for watching us, and I hope you all have a great day.